Hey everyone, I'm back with another Splatoon multiplayer tips video, but this time these tips aren't for a specific mode like Rainmaker or Splat Zone. Instead, these are tips that apply across all modes. So let's get started. Number 1. Placing Bacons There are actually two things I want to address regarding beacon placements. The first, don't place beacons at the spawn point. There is a button on your gamepad touchscreen that allows you to jump back to spawn. Just tap it and you'll be on your way back to your base without the need of a beacon. There are actually S rank players that still place beacons at spawn points. Yeah, I know. The second thing I want to address regarding beacon placements is to don't place beacons at the same location. Why? Because players can easily destroy all of your beacons at once. Instead, what you want to do is place them all over the map, giving your team the option to attack from all different angles. Number 2. Destroying Bacons Sure, you guys might know about this, but do you actively look for beacons? Take a look at this clip. How do I know these beacons were here? Do I have magic powers that allow me to see where beacons are? Yes. Yes, I do. And you do too! Just look at the gamepad screen. When you're in a game, check if there are any enemy beacons on the gamepad. All you need to do is look down at your gamepad for one second. Just one second to check if there are any enemy beacons. If there are, make it one of your top priorities to get rid of it. You should also look down at your gamepad and check for beacons after you've been splatted. Number 3. Dealing with Seekers Players love to swim with their Seekers. Players also love to jump over Seekers to avoid them. But just jumping over them is not enough and can actually be very dangerous. Why? Because if you're jumping over a Seeker, rollers that swim with the Seekers will mess you up. So what do you do? It's actually pretty simple. Just shoot directly at the Seeker and you'll stop any Inklings that could be swimming alongside it. I added this as a tip because I don't see a lot of players shooting directly at the Seekers. They just swim off to the side to avoid the Seekers and that's not a very efficient way to deal with them. Number 4. Spread out. Always, always be aware of where your teammates are and don't go near them. Spread out. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Always, always be aware of where your teammates are and don't go near them. Spread out. Or else you and your teammates can die to one attack and then you guys are screwed. Number 5. Emergency Ink. Have you ever found yourself in the heat of battle and then die because you ran out of ink? Well good news, using your special immediately gives you a full tank and you can continue shooting your opponent with your main weapon. Now this is only helpful if you have echolocator or bubbler. Why? Because using the other specials like bomb rush, ink strike, ink zooka, killer whale, or kraken just to refill your tank is pointless. You might as well just use your special to try to kill your opponent. But if you ran out of ink like this, and you have Echo Locator or Bubbler, use it immediately to refill your tank. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully these tips are helpful. I have plenty of other Splatoon tips in the video description below. And as always, please share these videos because if you and your teammates know these tips, it just might be enough to save you the match. Love you all. Bye.